Okay, second video of the day. Well, really, not really. It's like my fifth video of the day. I'm pre-recording things, guys, so I can remain on track with this whole situation. So, this is another installment to the MSW um, files, okay? Um, I recorded a video about the... <laughs> I recorded two videos about the discouragement of working and being in an internship, okay? And having to do homework. And then they added another class. And I was like, I didn't sign up for this. Please? But I guess I just have to get it done. I just need to relax. But I did kind of want to cry when I saw that the class started. And I was like, dude, what am I supposed to do? I'm just going to keep complaining. Dang it. Anyway, so let's talk about... This is like a story time, if you will. Let's talk about things that you're not prepared for and school does not prepare you for. So, the last time... I told you guys that school does not prepare you for clients running up on your car and trying to open the door or successfully opening the door. Um, school doesn't prepare you for like symptomatic clients who respond to things that you can't see but they think are there. It's not funny. But, um, right. So they just don't prepare you for that stuff. And it's just you need the experience in whatever field you work in. You know, whatever part of the field you work in. Um, education does not prepare you for clients yelling at you and working in a very high stress environment, similar to prison, but not prison. Um, yeah. So, my example for today, even though I have a lot of stories, is one time I had to take a client to the store to get their phone fixed. And they asked me if they could also go to a clothing store because they wanted to shop for clothes. So they just got to the house. So I was like, okay, you know, since you don't have any clothes, we can go find like an outfit, you know, work on budgeting your money a little bit. So we leave the place. I don't want to name any businesses or anything. We leave the place that, um, they got their phone app and then we went to the clothing store now while we're walking in the clothing store the client says to me I have to pee and I was like okay well the bathroom is back here and I know where it is so we'll just walk towards the back of the store to the bathroom well the client starts to head towards like the swinging doors that are for storage for the store like the stock room and I was like um the bathroom is not over there like head down a little bit more and then the client disappears like she she heads towards the what what she heads towards the like children's clothing section and then her head disappears and I was like what so I get over to her and I see like a puddle on the floor and I was like what is going on I was like what what are you doing and she was like I really just had to pee and I was like are you for real right now are you for real so I didn't know what to do I panicked and I was just like all right let's go because I didn't know if I was supposed to like tell a person that there was a puddle of pee on the floor I didn't know what I was supposed to do and nobody prepared me for these things okay I was not prepared so I had to drop her back to the, my job with a plastic bag under her on my seat and let me tell you ain't nobody catching me again with her in my car because I don't I have cloth seats and I just can't do it I can't I was just like I thought I had seen it all really I really did think I saw it all but I'm only about three years into my whole working experience, so that cannot possibly be it for me. But I don't know. Sometimes you just got to laugh to stop crying. Stop from crying. Keep from crying. It's just, it's just these bizarre things that happen, and it just don't make any sense, girl, ever. It just don't make any sense. I just don't understand how this is my life, but it's so funny. Anyways, that was my little story time while I was on my way to work. Bye!